What's up guys, my name is Potato, and uh, you guys are may have wondering why I'm playing Oblivion on Friday instead of doing my uh, usual Minecraft Let's Play on Fridays. Um, I didn't feel like playing Minecraft today. Uh, I've spent the last week uh, modifying Oblivion, adding in, oh jeez, probably about 18 different mods right now and uh, trying to get them all to work with each other and I had to get rid of some and added a few other ones and everything like that and um, I don't know I've been I've been really itching to play this game just because Skyrim's coming out and I'm I'm super looking forward to that and um, I've just been I don't know I've, I've been wanting to play Oblivion but I I'm so tired of the original Oblivion I wanted to play an Oblivion that um, that is new, different, and exciting. So, like I said, I spent uh, about the last week installing new mods, and for those who have uh, keen eyes and remember Oblivion the way it used to be, you can already notice the flicker off of this torch right here against the wall and everything. That's that's one of the biggest things that I like. It's just that flicker. Um, I do have a bunch of high-res uh, stuff installed as well for better textures and um, crap like that there's a lot of things that I don't have that fix textures and I think uh, like some of the old um, items and stuff like that some of those aren't fixed but potions and stuff are uh, I started an Argonian I do have um, a vampire class thing on here to where you can start as a vampire from the beginning but from my experience with it it wasn't very fun for me it kinda took me out of the lore a little bit too much um, so I'm gonna drop those those wristlets because I don't need them. You may notice these things right here, the OBG version 2 RGO and unofficial Oblivion patch. Like I said, there's a lot of mods installed right now and um, uh, these are some of the things where you can change stuff I guess. Uh, see when I... Whoop. What is this? Close your inventory view. There it goes. Um, where I can change uh, a lot of stuff like that um, to fix things that were broken or um, like some of you may have noticed the, the double face thing um, for those of you who, have, who haven't you obviously don't know what I'm talking about but there's spells and stuff like that to fix a bunch of uh, bunch of crap that was just broken in oblivion hey, Lizard, and um, break your heart. So, uh, I got the Oblivion patch, or the unofficial one, and Shivering Isles, um, unofficial patch. Uh, I added in a mod that adds 600 new creatures and mobs. Um, I probably added it, added it, um, probably around 300 new items. Uh, between weapons, worry, bows, uh, there is a patch on, or there is a mod pack on here that adds 300 magic spells. That I don't know if that's too loud for you guys or not, because um, master volume is all the way up. I should probably, I'm gonna go check it real quick. If it's too loud, then I'll turn it down. All right, so it's not too bad, but I am gonna turn it down just a little bit, just so um, it doesn't drown each other out. Um, because it is a little bit distracting on my end, hearing this guy talk and then me trying to talk as well. Um, yeah, added in a mod pack that adds in 300 new spells and stuff like that and makes, um, the mage class a little bit more powerful and useful. The, uh, there was a mod pack I was looking for to increase the textures and, and facial movements and stuff, but, um... That was just something that I just figured out. Oh, well, I should pick that up, you know, today. But I've already spent five hours today just trying to get this up and running to where I can get it to a point to show you guys. So, um, yeah. Watch him zoom in right behind that guy's shoulder. Oh, no. Let me see your face. Uh, I, I'm going to leave it up to you guys uh, if you want me to actually not skip through these conversations because this game's been out for what six seven years somewhere around there and uh those who have played it you probably played the shit out of it and created new characters all the time so a lot of the story stuff i already know um and those who are uh who have played the game know as well 
the few things that I will spend a little bit more time on are the DLC packs, um, Knights of the Nine, uh, probably Shivering Isles, I, although I wasn't a big fan of Shivering Isles. Um, this doesn't concern you, Since it prisoner. was, I don't know, it was, it came out hectic for me. Stand aside, prisoner. Um, so right now, for those who you, who don't know, which is surprising to me, um, I was a prisoner, and, uh, the Emperor here, they're, they're escorting him out because he's in danger of dying, or he thinks he is. So, these guys right here, I forget what they're called. But um, you may have actually noticed that fight lasts a little bit longer than usual, and I'll explain that to you here in a bit. Uh, the Mythic Dawn people, that's what they're called. Um, they, uh, they're bad guys. Did I just get two swords? Hold up, that torch? I did get two swords. That's awesome. Um, what I'm going to actually end up doing is probably go more magic in this one Don't than swords and bows. I'll probably go... They won't be the first to underestimate probably go, the I don't know, because if I go bow, then I'll that's too... Let's move. Too ranged DPS, you know? Magic and bows. Uh, so I, I think it be, might be beneficial for me to be proficient in a close range thing, so maybe I'll do one-handed swords? I don't know. Yeah. And, um... Anyways, the, uh... I don't want to take the rat meat. I also need to set up hotkeys. What is that on here? Is it, okay, there it goes. So I'll put that on one and two. Bring up flare. Not gonna take that. Um, I keep getting distracted because I'm trying to trying to play this game at the same time, you know. And um. Whoop. Anyways, we are going to... I'll pick up the bow, whatever, and some arrows, just in case. Oh, I need those lock picks and torch. Uh, also, for lock picking, I've, I've always been kind of a fan of uh, doing the lock picking on my own. You know, uh, not using the automated thing, but... Um, if you guys don't care either way, then I'll just do automatic to save some time for the Let's Plays. Whee! And, um... Whatever. I'm... Again, I'm getting distracted. Because I'm trying to... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, should I be... Uh, trying to commentate about what the game is about? Like, what I'm doing and everything like that? Or should I talk about... I don't know, just whatever, I guess. Um, another mod that I added on here that uh, I wanted to talk about when I was talking... <laughs> a, a million miles an hour right now. Uh, earlier, if you guys... Those who, who have played this game a lot know that that last fight lasted a lot longer uh, between with the Mythic Dawn and the guards of the, uh, the Emperor is because I have um, the... Um, modified Oblivion, uh, shit, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but it modifies the way mobs, uh, interact with your level, because Oblivion, default Oblivion, uh, the, every mob levels up with you, regardless of, of you. Um, so if I'm level two, every mob in the world will be level two. Um, and guards will always be like a few levels higher than you and um, I never liked that just because I don't know I don't feel that um, that uh, wild wolves and stuff like that should be just as strong as I am I am after training for so long and uh, random things like that so it makes it more dynamic now it makes it more like how uh, MMORPGs are where you have a starting area, which w I guess would be technically the wild, and then you have stronger enemies as you go on uh, inside of dungeons and um, ones that are protecting more valuable things, uh, crap like that, and yeah. 
so this uh, this thing adds in um, dynamic mobs, I guess, and uh, also affects the way weapons and stuff are perceived. Um, beforehand, it was uh, you, the type of weapon you didn't you had didn't really affect the way it would if it was in the actual universe that we live in, i.e., like war hammers. Even though they would take longer to swing, they didn't offer any benefits over a regular sword or whatever. So this one, it tweaks the the settings with weapons to the sense that um, uh, daggers will take less fatigue than regular swords and stuff like that because um, they're lighter and smaller. So the bigger the sword you get, the more fatigue that you waste um, while swinging it through the air, you know? <laughs> And um, to kind of balance it out more, you know, using a warhammer is going to drain a lot of fatigue. Uh, here's a warhammer right here. You know, it's a big, big old weapon. I've never been a fan of using them just because, um, I don't know, I'm more of a being able to move quicker than, than slower type of guy, as most people are. Um, I don't know too many people who like using warhammers over um, a traditional sword. But uh, there is uh, other things that deal with the weapon, such as uh, aside from weight and stuff like that, the type of weapon it is, you know, from swords, maces, daggers, uh, warhammers, two-handed. Uh, the longer the blade, the more reach you have. Because beforehand, um, the reach that you have with them, like I, I would have been able to hit this rat from this distance. But now you have to be within the distance of the sword see I used to be able to hit him from a good amount of distance but now I can't because my sword it actually the mod takes in the length of the sword instead of you know just being able to whack at him from whatever distance you want so it adds a little bit more realism to it um, I also added in a lot of mods that uh, deal with uh, the way towns and cities are built uh, there is a really, really big mod that I wanted to try that was called Better Cities, but um, it looked far too advanced for me to even try, um, mainly because it changed a lot of things in the, in the, in the files, and I guess there was a higher chance of it um, breaking your game. And I wanted to start off with something like this, where I mean, I'm already modding uh, a billion things. Uh, so why take the chance of doing that? But I did add in things that um, that make castles and stuff look better. Uh, alchemy, actually, as uh, I'm getting sidetracked here, is another thing I've never really gotten into the game. So maybe uh, with your guys' help, I can see if uh, I can't get that going as well. Uh, I always heard it was way too difficult to get to work to the point where it was worthwhile. Um, okay, alright, thank you. Gotta love all the tutorials in the beginning. Um, mortal and Pestle right there. Oh, wait, that was another thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, I have this texture pack in that, that changes the potions and stuff to actually make them look like you'd want to use them. Um, if I can, if I remember to, I'll put up a picture of the old potions the way they used to look but now these ones they just they look awesome I don't even want to use them I just kinda wanna put them up on a shelf and be like yeah those are pretty you know um, back to the city thing uh, you guys will notice uh, when I uh, first get into Cyrodiil that it is very different compared to the way it used to be ho ho done this once or twice so um the like walls and stuff will be all oh, right. This one's already dead. Um, walls are, are bigger. There's uh, more lighting and stuff like that. I have some dynam dynamic light mods installed, so um, the windows and stuff like that of buildings will uh, light up during the night, and then you know the lights will turn off during the day. Um, what else? I have better uh, natural environments. And um, I gotta, I gotta watch my weight. That's gonna be a an issue for this game because I like to collect things. 
Um, but yeah, natural environments and uh, weather. That's all um, another mod and stuff that I have installed as well. Headshot. So that'll be uh, interesting. I haven't seen any weather changes yet. But, um... No, I don't want you. Uh, I haven't seen weather changes yet, but I have seen natural environments work um, a little bit. Where's that that shaman? Is he not over there? No, my seek skill is increasing, but that could be these rats down here. Is he not in here anymore? Maybe that's uh Maybe that was uh that's part of the mob thing working. Maybe they thought that this guy was uh, just a oh no I just I killed him in one hit. Awesome. <laughs> Usually it takes a few hits. I'm gonna take his staff though. It's worth a lot of money. Damn it. Um what else was I talking about? You guys will notice the, the more natural environments because uh, you'll see like butterflies and shit um, flying around uh, near bushes, more flowers and stuff like that. Um, a whole bunch of stuff gets changed and I would love to make a pack for you guys just to download and, and uh, you know play the same game I'm playing but it's literally a few gigs big um, amongst all the all the things that I have. Uh, between the biggest ones being, you know, texture packs and mobs and stuff. Uh, the la the mob and uh, item stuff I just got was like 400 megabytes. And that was only one of 18 or 20, 2000 some odd mods that I have installed. Uh, the UI being one of the biggest ones I love just because it makes... The last UI was huge and gross and gaudy looking. This one's nice and small. It's, um... It uh, brings to attention uh, details a lot quicker and easier to read compared to the last one. And um, until help Help! What makes you think help? Oh, I missed him. <laughs> we need here to get the out of here. Come on! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Damn it! It's that prisoner again. Kill him. Don't he kill might be me. Working with the assassins. No, he is not one of them. See? See, he, he likes me. Us. He must help us. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what how can I Okay. Well. I, I... And uh we're actually gonna go with the lady because uh ten bonus points towards willpower and endurance. I usually go with uh the shadow because being able to go invisible for 60 seconds pretty pretty useful actually you know what? I might still go with the shadow right now even though I would like I'm gonna go magic being able to turn invisible once a day is uh, pretty helpful the steed is also very nice so we're gonna go the with signs the shadow. I read show the end of my path my death a necessary end will come when it will come okay yeah what about me in okay where are we going I talk you to this guy well. Although... and goodbye there's no time to ah, talk now damn prisoner. it you've got to keep <laughs> just trying to stop talking to you come on move on I wish there was a uh, a mod that I can do or put on activate do whatever to fix their behaviors as NPCs because sometimes they're just clunky you know I should be picking up some arrows but Take them! Protect the Emperor! Oh, not me don't attack me ah. this one's the got fucked up Emperor got hit a few times. It's a beast. He's just walking it off. Oh, he's holding the sword out. He's he's ready to go though. Yeah. The 
Sorrow's in danger. I can't get a shot off on him. Yeah, what's up? Took that guy out. There's a lot of things that I still remember here. Uh, obviously, if you guys can't tell, I'm just kind of zooming through this thing. Um, it's just a formality. We got to get through this little tutorial place, and then there's a dungeon. Which is uh, the sewers, which is the end of the tutorial thing. Um, thankfully, my load times are still semi-decent like with all these mods installed. Every now and then, um, like if I load up a save game or something like that, uh, it'll kind of freak out for a bit. It'll have like um, clear. Come on. this Wrong little shutter where it'll, be, it'll wait and freeze for about maybe 10 seconds to load up all the stuff and then it's good to go. And after that, I'm, I'm still pulling decent frames uh, while playing this game. But then again, you know, this game isn't known for its high quality graphics, the although I will say the what few modifications that I put on here really makes it feel like I'm, I'm playing a new game, Let's which is go. awesome. Hello. <laughs> he's just he's a smiling old man. He's just ready to live life. Darn, it's dead, a dead end. end. What's your call, sir? They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. For, For the, the Emperor! And the Emperor! Oh, oh, come on. This is the kind of clunkiness I'm talking about. There you go. Sometimes you gotta push him a little bit. Get out of here. I can go no further. <laughs> you alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal Yeah, this servants. is, uh... He must... He predicted his death here. And that wall is gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. Ow! Oh, I can't see. <laughs> so much fire. Mm, nah, I don't need that. Yeah. Can't loot his body. We failed. Yep. Yeah, you failed. They say gave me the, the amulet. The amulet, amulet. had. He must have. He don't like you. Joff. Oh. How it's do I get there? The sewers. You must choose your class. And uh, I always choose a custom class. So we're, we're going to go magic. So we're going to need... Um, I'm going to want willpower just because of the regeneration for magicka. And uh, all that crap. But then there's another one. Like I could go intelligence. Because it, it, it affects how much magicka I have to work with. But... I don't know. I like to talk to people. Personality is pretty nice. But let's just, uh, let's go all out. Acrobats, because there's a, uh, a lot of cliffs and junk that, well, I like to fall off of. And, um, you know, you know how that is. Alright, so I created a mongoose class right here. Um, I went with acrobatics, athletics, destruction, light armor, mercantile, restoration, and speechcraft. Um, there's always, um... These four that I always get is acrobatics, athletics, mercantile, and speechcraft. And mainly just because it deals with how fast you run, uh, how much damage or how much damage will negate if you uh, jump off somewhere high. Mercantile and speechcraft are just two things that I really like to get in these types of games. I've always gotten them in, um, in Fallout and New Vegas. Uh, to get your speechcraft up, obviously it's more of an impact on those games because you'll come across times where you need to convince someone of something. But speechcraft um, helps me charm people easier, you know, that way they like me. And mercantile obviously helps me buy and sell things at better prices. And um, the mod, one of the mods that I have on, deals with the uh, the um, really economy and everything like that to make it uh, good more realistic to where each town will have um, different economies 
Okay, now we're gonna load up all the DLC, so we're gonna be getting a lot of windows. Um, maybe I'll just wait a bit. Um, so something could sell really low in one town, but in another town it would sell really high. So it adds a little bit more depth to um, being able to be a merchant. So you can go from town to town buying and selling things and make a profit. Uh, it also adds in more armor and makes stuff more available to you early on in the game instead of later on because anybody who's played Oblivion and has played through it uh, knows that after you reach a certain level you just stop going to towns for anything. Um, like I stopped going to merchants and stuff aside from buying maybe potions from time to time but um, you find everything that you need from from enemies. So one of the the, mo uh, the mods I have installed uh, makes items a little bit more rare of drops on mobs. So I'm not gonna find the greatest stuff so quickly as I would have if I left the game alone. Sometimes there's a goblin that that comes up the stairs. Oh well. And here we go. Nope, we're finished. We're good to go. And here's Oblivion. My, well, my Oblivion, rather. Uh, yes, tutorial, stop. Stop bugging me. Um, I didn't... I got one water mod. And that's just so I can see a little bit better in the waters. Uh, so it's not so murky. Um, in waters that shouldn't be murky. Oh, there's a butterfly right there. Oh, that's cute. Um, what is the... There we go. That button. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, that quest that just popped up is uh, Vilya. At least that's how I think you pronounce her name. It's a uh, companion mod for the game. Uh, so I can have someone follow me around and help me out uh, while I do quests and stuff. And um, she's actually like the top rated companion apparently uh, in the Nexus uh, universe. Uh, they talked very highly of her AI abilities and everything like that so um, that's why I got her. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out that companion mod because I've never had someone follow me around in um, Oblivion so it should be interesting. Uh, this is Cyrodiil right here. This is the main kind of place right here. Um, again for those who who remembered what Cyrodiil looked like, these are not the typical walls, they're much bigger, much more, um, I guess, powerful looking? I don't know. Um, you'll notice, uh, well, actually, I don't know if you guys noticed that little hiccup there, but it was loading up the walls and it kind of changed. <laughs> um, I'd like to see some weather stuff, you know? I also have uh, this thing for god rays and stuff from the sun, so that should be interesting in some areas. Uh, I guess I could put this torch away. I don't, I don't know why I'm still wearing it or using it rather. Whee! Got my tan pants on. No big deal. Um, also, uh, I'm a huge fan of fast traveling, but you I know a lot of people aren't just because it. Um, uh, it kind of destroys the, the lore, I guess you could say, of the game. Uh, looks like I need to reinstall that window mod. Because these are actually supposed to be orange, not this green color. That's okay. I'll, I'll deal with that uh, later on. But anyways, I just wanted to get through the tutorial phase. It's probably been like 20-25 minutes or so now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, perhaps uh, after stacking, I'll start doing an Oblivion thing and, you know, bring, obviously, Minecraft back to Fridays. Today, I just didn't feel like playing it. Um, and I wanted to... I've been really itching to play this, like I said. So, uh, again, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, do all that, you know, all that junk that all the YouTubers ask you to do. It, it Honestly, it helps us to kind of judge our videos. Talk to you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed this video because I know I'm going to enjoy playing it and I'd like to play it with you guys uh, watching and helping me. 
because uh, I may need some help in some parts. Uh, suggestions help as well. And I will talk to you guys later. Good morning.